I just had a fabulous listener email me and she said, Sarah, does Nutrafol work for men too? You better believe it. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement for men and women with over 1 million people seeing thicker, stronger, faster growing hair with less shedding. Hello, me included. Nutrafol changed my life post baby in postpartum hair. Amazing. Also, a lot of women going through menopause say that Nutrafol works for them as well. And like I mentioned, it works for the fellas. Take the first step right now to visibly thicker, healthier hair for a limited time. Nutrafol is offering my TSFS listeners $10 off your first month subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com and you enter the promo code TSFS. Find out why over 4,500 healthcare professionals and hair care stylists recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code TSFS. That's Nutrafol.com, promo code TSFS. FS. Woohoo! Every day I am getting one step closer to having another healthy baby. And Caraway Home is helping me do that. Their ceramic, naturally slick surface cookware allows you to cook with minimal butter. Uh, they're very easy to clean, just a little warm water, you wipe it down. And the best part is, is that Caraway products are made without any toxic materials like BFASs, BTFEs, and a bunch of other things like I can't even pronounce. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, right now, visit Caraway wayhome.com slash TSFS to take advantage of this limited time offer for 10% off your next purchase. This deal is exclusive to my Sarah Fraser Show listeners. So visit carawayhome.com slash TSFS or use code TSFS at checkout. Caraway, non-toxic cookware made modern. It's time for you to see what all the fuss is about, read about their five-star reviews and why so many TSFS fans buy Caraway Home. Order now. Does Monday at the office feel like a storm? Not with Microsoft Copilot. That feeling when Copilot gets everyone up to speed instantly? It's sunny again. When Copilot simplifies complex data so your teams can act, that sun's shining on a beach. And when Copilot uncovers hidden insights, you're on that beach with your people and you find buried treasure. That's Microsoft Copilot. Learn more at Microsoft.com slash AI for all. All right, these two have been making a ton of noise on the internet. Um, Scott Wern is here. We all know him as a Scott. Uh, we just most re- recently saw you on the Family Chantel, right? Yeah, Family Chantel. Fabulous Amanda is here. You know her as the former com- couple as Amanda and Rosvin on Before the 90 Days. Are you still following Rosvin at all, by the way, Amanda? I am not. We are not following each other on social media. You guys are done. I mean, we're still cordial, but we just, we don't speak that often. Well, um, he's still hot online. I will say that. No yeah. offense, Scott. But, uh... oh, whatever. I'm tired of being compared to him, man. Okay, he's a steak and I'm ground chuck. I get it. Okay, but listen, <laughs> the guy is, you know how old I am? I'm 52. He's 26. Let's see if you look like this at 52 years old, okay? All right? It's yeah, not, do, it's we, not easy. do we think Rosman is going to uh, keep his looks? I feel like he will because he has that Latin, you know, he's got that like, I mean, Scott, you're a good looking guy. You know, no offense. But I mean, I do enjoy see. I like it when a, a picture of Rosman um, pops up on my Instagram. I'm like, the guy is. Yeah, but, but his content, there's no there's no sound, just him walking slow. Uh, let's see if there's there's let's see if there's brain with that brawn because I feel like I embody everything. I mean, listen, the guy's a nice guy, but what else does he bring to the table? Wow. Okay. Well, Amanda, I don't know. Would you agree with that? Did Ron- um, I mean, <laughs> Did he I... have any brains? Did he have any brains to that broad? I mean, he he does. I guess. <laughs> God, what? Oh, All right. Moving well, on. I, listen, I'm not dragging her. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm not putting Amanda in the middle of that. I'm just saying, if I'm going to be compared to him all the time, you know, I feel like I embody both brawn and brain, intellect. I've got, I'm a seasoned person in life with a lot of experience. Let's just say that, you know. You are. 
All right, you two, um, I wanted to have you on because a lot of controversy. You guys are getting a ton of views, a ton of discussion. I mean, Scott, too, to be honest, and Amanda, I want your take since you're getting to know Scott um, you know, more. But people are worried about you, Scott. Like, are you okay? All right. I'm I'm in the first of all, I'm in a great place. Uh I, I won't listen, I've had my trials and tribulations. I've been through a lot. You know, I went through a bankruptcy last year. I lost my brand new home. I had to sell it. But since then, 2024, um, you know, I, I'm bouncing back. I, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I'm very transparent. And then they use that information against me. So, yeah, I, I started a new contract in West Virginia. And you'll get into that. And then, um, you know, I bought this camper. It's brand new. And, um, you know, I, I've I come into a small inheritance as well. And I'm not going to get into that. but. Um, Things are opening for me. Things are happening. So, you know, when one door closes, another door opens. So, you know, um, it's been hard because for me being single, um, it, you know, uh, I matched up with people, uh, obviously, on dating apps that somebody went through my phone and that wasn't scripted. Somebody went through my my crap, my bag when I was sleeping and she went through my shit. I was like, what the hell? But that's another topic. But Anyway, when you start dating, you're like, oh, I just wanted to match up with you because I hate you. I've seen you on social media and I've seen you on the show and the way you treat women is like shit and everything else. So like that's hard because Amanda gets everything that I'm going through. And that's to answer your question. Yeah, I'm in a great place right now. And and you know what? And I owe a lot of that to Amanda and everyone thinks it's scripted and everything else. But we're two people that can identify with each other because we've been through the same crap. And I reached out to her because uh, no, I didn't reach out, but I posted uh, and she was worried about me, too. And, and then we became friends a little bit. And then I was I ended up getting a contract in West Virginia. And I'm not going to say where, but I'll let her take over from there. Yeah, I'm it. yeah Amanda, uh, what's, your, what's your take? And I, I want to know, too, what your relationship is, because people have a lot of thoughts. I mean, I agree with Scott is we can both relate to being hated and villainized, you know, and when I saw months ago, like he was. I, you know, I just wanted to check on him. I feel like he was going through so much and I reached out and DM'd him and then we kind of just built a friendship from there. And then when he ended up getting, putting it out there, like he was, you know, going to be working in West Virginia or whatever, like, of course I wanted to reach out and offer anything I could do to help him, you know, just because I feel for him. I've gone through the same thing on social media with people just hating on you and trashing you all the time, you know? Um, but our relationship right now is we are just friends. Um, I think people read more into it just, you know, because they want to, you know, um, but we're both single, you know, I don't know what will happen in the future, but right now we are just friends. Well, I mean, guys, what is the point though? You, you've posted picture, you've posted things like we're going to sell our first photo together. You know, Amanda went through your stuff. I mean, you guys are doing these kind of flirtatious videos. I mean, this is garnering you a lot of attention. Uh, so what is the point of this? If you two are just friends? Uh, I don't, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I, sometimes I get mixed signals from her a little bit. I don't know. That's all I'll say. <laughs> But Scott, what? It's like never your fault. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, I, I, well, listen, I listen. I have to be. We we both. Um, let let me say this. I I'm not going to deny she's beautiful inside and out. I'm single. She's single. When I hang out with her, I think it's amazing chemistry. But I think. Um, we're both very guarded and been through a lot. And um, I think the best relationships are built on friendship. And, you know, I, um, I don't know, Amanda, you want to expound on that at all? Or you want to say anything or what? Amanda, yeah. Amanda, what, tell me, because Scott, I, I enjoy you. You were so transparent when you came on my podcast before. Now you had another girlfriend, not, not yeah. you guys' girlfriend, boyfriend, but you had a girlfriend at the time. You guys were very in love. She was helping you out. We went through the whole story. You know, she had this yeah. car crash. I mean, okay, so- And that fell apart when I went to New York. I had to do a contract and then she started dating somebody else. And then I just, I was kind of focused on working and everything. And, you know, that's the other thing. Like, I started working in New York and everyone says all the stuff. Oh, he's broke. He's not. No, I sold my house. The money I had left, I- used it to pay what bills I would the internal revenue service. I, I paid that off with the, everything in New York. 
now I'm working again. I got the camper. I got my house. Um, and I got my um, my new contract. And I'll throw it out there. I'm making 2500 a week on this contract. It's, it's nothing. And then I'm looking at Amanda suggested me doing um, TikTok. And um, I think and then I'm going to be coming into some money. So uh, I don't know. Amanda was made some suggestions on helping me out with that. And, you know, maybe managing, managing your money for you because you have some issues in that department. Yeah. Yeah. So she's going to, she's going to, she's going to, she's my boss now. I think I'm going to have her uh, kind of point me in the right direction because she's really good with that. And, you know, we talk about a lot of things. I just, I don't know how much we're going to cover today, but. A lot. We want all the details. What, what, Amanda, you tell your side, what is going on here with you two, the back and forth, the videos, the kind of teasing people with we're selling our first picture. Okay. What's going on? Um, I don't know. I just, I think people, even when we posted just a selfie together, you know, and people kind of like, I can't believe you guys are dating and date, you know, and it's, I feel like they just are maybe shocked that Scott and I are even friends, you know, and then I get a lot of comments saying, you're letting uh, Scott move in and you denied Rosman even meeting your kids and all of these things. You know, there's a big difference between a guy I was romantically involved with moving in, wanting to share my bed, you know, versus helping out someone and letting them stay in my basement. And it's more um, just like a, a friendly kind of thing. You know what I mean? And and I feel like, as Scott said, like, you know, relationships kind of start as friends and, and go from there. You know, I don't know what's going to happen, but. Is it, uh, Amanda, would you say it's fair to say that when we finally spent time together, we are so similar and it's crazy, like great chemistry, would you say? That? Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. Guys, what yeah. do you say to a lot of people feel like this is fake to get you guys back on a 90 day franchise? What do you say when people that's out there? I feel like I'm monopolizing. Amanda can answer first. I, like, what I don't do wanna... you guys say about that? It, it. I mean, honestly, you can't make up Scott getting a contract. You can't, you know what I mean? Or me saying, hey, yeah, you can come and stay with me. Or, you know what I mean? All of these things. It's. I feel like people just hate on us so much that they're just like, oh, I'm sick of them. And they're just doing this and they're just doing that. I post what I post because it's my life. You know, I'm not... A clout chaser i'm not looking for clout i post what i do on my social media because the same as anybody else you post what's going on in your daily life and when scott and i hang out and we have fun and laugh and are silly i enjoy that and i'm going to share that to social media you know it's not about being on another show or looking for followers or clout it's literally what's happening in my day-to-day -day life you know and i enjoy it and it makes me happy and laugh and and so that's you know what it is i think there's well, a certain fear too because we're we've been recognized a few times together and my, my anxiety got high because i know how hated i am and i know how hated she is or or now i think she, it's even more magnified how hated <laughs> we're together and i worry about her safety and that's why maybe a part of me would rather um 1000 percent. this is not scripted or made up i think we have great uh you know the more time we spend together and, and i think people thought it was going to be a weekend thing and i've been attacked on social media fake accounts presuming to be my kids my kids never came forward and said anything bad about me it was all reddit accounts um they did they diminish and dissect everything and i'm a respiratory therapist or or um i i could think of a million things they'll pick apart like you know with me at the the, the junkyard beating up on the on the car there's in in Florida they have these rooms called I don't know if they're in 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 uh, West West Virginia but they call insanity rooms and you're you're breaking stuff and everything. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Like you know I I did put my own spin on it putting TLC sharp on there, but when I do content sometimes I just do content for fun, and now everyone's seeing me this unhinged guy. Yeah, did I have a moment of weakness? I got drunk. Yeah, and and I kind of laid it out on live and I lost my live privileges for like thirty days, but. Um, if, if I have vulnerability and I've expressed that, then all of a sudden everyone, um, attacks and, and, um, 
it's hard for me because I, I bounced everything off of her. I was like, you know, Amanda, like I'm, I'm, when you hear a thousand times or 10,000 times you're crazy or unhinged and everything, you start to believe it sometimes. And well, like she's right a little bit. It's um, look how much backlash we've received by just saying we're friends. And let's just say hypothetically, there's more going on. Let's just say that. Okay. Let's say it, everything's great between us and we're going to see what happens. Can you imagine when we do say that we're official, how how bad it gets? Because she gets she gets threats. She gets I've gotten death threats. I've received everything. I've gotten stay away from her. She, 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 I've been called a predator. I've never been arrested in my life. I've never had anything. You can't be a registered respiratory therapist. I've coached high school competitive soccer. You have to have level two background. And I say this all the time. And they say, oh, yeah, I wouldn't trust him. I'm a father. I'm a grandfather. Like I, I'm so fucking sick of the fucking. I'm sorry. I'm tired of the fucking haters. Fuck them. I'm fucking tired of them. Um, Scott, why don't you just stop being on social media? No. No, because then they win. And that's not going to happen. I'm going to keep being who I am. I love who I am. I love doing my content. And how they dissect that, I don't give a crap. But to my fans, which I've built up a huge following, they love my content. You know, it's unfortunate the haters ruin it for everybody else. But Scott, are you, I think people are genuinely worried about you. I mean, the video where you kind of appear drunk, like people are concerned. Like, do you think oh. it's good for your mental health to be on social media? Um, I, I think, I think I'm, I feel better because I feel like a lot of that has been um, due to how I deal with the haters. And I'll tell you what, I think everybody comes in your life for a reason, because since Amanda's come in my life, her perspective and how she's teaching me to deal with it is almost therapeutic. Like we spend time together. I'm like, man, you take it like a trooper. Like you just ignore that. Or you just, or you laugh about it. And I was taking everything personal and she's like, Scott, you let it consume you. And she, she's, if, if anything, I think since we've been talking and since I stayed at her house, stay in her house and I've come back, like she's really giving me, because I, I couldn't, I'm very stubborn and I don't relate to people and I relate to her and I feel like I've allowed myself to be vulnerable to her and she knows all my demons and how I approach that. I'll let her talk. You know, I call him the Nozempic been on Ozempic doctor. I'm talking about Dr. Applin and his wife who founded my optimal body. I am so happy about this. These are the first mindful eating based doctors I have ever partnered with. They see patients nationwide and they are seeing more patients who have been on Ozempic and Ozempic has failed for them. What makes my optimal body so unique and why am I endorsing them? It's because Dr. Applin actually looks at food additives, the, your, your addiction to food, your mental health. They do a whole look at you, including your gut health. Many of Dr. Applin's patients are working out, restricting their diets, and still gaining weight. Why is that? Because something's going on in your body and with your mind. Visit MyOptimalBody.com to request an appointment. Be sure to tell them the Sarah Fraser Show sent you so you can qualify for a free personalized assessment, plus a bonus free 30-day supply of their gut repair product when you sign up for a customized plan. Again, that's MyOptimalBody.com to request an appointment. How about getting up to five hours of your life back when you sign up for Hungry Root meal prep and delivery service? I'm obsessed. I have I've tried a lot of meal prep boxes. This is one of my favorites. In fact, I actually emailed the client to see if I can get like a year's supply. <laughs> They're like, Sarah, use your own damn code. Anyway, right now, I want you to go to HungryRoot.com slash TSFS because you are getting 40% off your first delivery and free veggies for life. The average Hungry Root customer saves five hours a week. Ah, that was us. On top of that, um, you can pick from vegetarian, keto, meat, anything that you like. Right now, Hungry Root is offering TSFS listeners 40% off your first delivery and free veggies for life. As I mentioned, just go to HungryRoot.com slash TSFS to get 40% off your first delivery and get those free veggies. That's HungryRoot.com slash TSFS. Also, don't forget to use my link so Hungry Root knows who sent you. Yeah. 
This episode is brought to you by Paramount Plus. Get in, loser! Mean Girls is now streaming on Paramount Plus. Join Katie Heron as she meets the plastics and Tina Fey's new twist on the modern classic. Get ready for more of the rumors, backstabbing, and jokes you loved from the original movie with some fetch surprises. Rated PG 13. Wear pink and head to ParamountPlus.com to try it free. Mid, what no, do you think? Um, I agree. I feel like a lot of people take everything what they see on social media for a thousand percent and it's like yeah okay he got drunk and he was not okay like he said he had a moment of weakness and unfortunately it was broadcast live you know um and people took from that what they did but also too at the end of the day everybody is only human you know what i mean we're not all gonna just uh be okay a hundred percent of the time you know, and like I said, unfortunately, Scott does have a big following and people watch him and and it was live broadcasted, you know, um, but I I get so much hate as well. You know, people even yeah. since me being friends with Scott, people have commented saying they're going to contact DCF and Child Protective Services for allowing Scott to stay in my basement, you know, and it's I know it's it's crazy. And it's like at the end of the day i told this to scott too i know who i am as a person i know i am an amazing mom um and everything about myself i know and it doesn't matter what the strangers say on the internet or whatever it is and i try to tell that to him too you know he's a good person he is genuine and it, he doesn't have to reply to everything you know everything doesn't deserve a response you know it's sometimes it's better just to let it roll off your back and don't say anything at all and laugh it off because yeah, who are these people, you know? Well, and then, and then live in a basement. Like, yeah. Approach it. That helped. <laughs> but then when I started to see them attack her, now, now it didn't bother me. They're attacking me. I'm okay with that. But when I see them attacking a vulnerable mother, <laughs> Then it got me going again. My blood pressure. Started. I will. I will say. So I received a lot of hate in the beginning of when my season was airing. Like I got a lot of hate. Yeah. And it kind of died down, right? And then all of a sudden, me and Scott are friends, and it's like amplified so much just with the threats of child services, and which I told them. I said, call them. You know what I mean? If you were gonna call them, call them because I guarantee you, what what's the reasoning? oh, I don't like this person that she has living with her in her basement. You know, there are plenty of other children that are in very bad, horrible situations. And my children are not one of those, fortunately, you yeah. know? Um, but yeah, I've received so much more hate of just me being friends with Scott and allowing him to stay with me that it's insane. Amanda, what has really bonded you guys? Is it the fact that you two have become these sort of um, <clears throat> villain figures in the 90 day space? Is that, you know, is that really, or do you guys like have, inter like have similar hobbies or, you know, I mean, what is it that has? Um... I, I definitely feel like initially it was both of us being villainized and hated so much. It's what kind of like, sparked our our connection with one another because we can both relate to that um and then once i got to know scott more we do share similar interests we do like to go to the gym we you know like to dance even though everyone says we can't dance <laughs> you know um and just be fun and silly and i feel like we are both genuine people who are um look differently by fans you know they see this certain side of us that I feel like is not true. Um, Amanda, what do you, what would you, if people could kind of see you for who you really are, what, what misconceptions would you like to clear up? Um, one, I feel like the biggest one is that I'm a bad mom. Um, I pride myself on being a good mom because I didn't have a good mom growing up. And so rather than kind of fall into that cycle and, be everything that a bad mom is, I took that and made it the opposite. You know, I made that my strength and saying, I wish I would have had a mom like this growing up. And that's what I tried to embody. That's what I tried to be because I didn't have that growing up. Mm -hmm. um, so I do everything that I can to make sure I'm a good mom and that my kids are loved and taken care of. And I don't, and I'm not like trying to just build myself up, but I really mean that. Like I, I, 
strive to be a good mom. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can tell that you are. And um, it's hard putting yourself on on a reality television show as a single mom. You know, you obviously lost your husband so tragically to cancer. Um, and I wondered that, like, do you, um, you know, because your husband was older than you. Um, do you see that in Scott a little bit? Like, I don't know, you know, is there an attraction there? Because Scott's like older, your, your husband was older, the father of your kids. I didn't know. Sometimes I kind of watch you guys and I'm like, I wonder if she's recreating that. I mean, they're definitely, that is a similarity. Um, my husband was 15 and a half years older than me. Um, so I mean, there's definitely, you know, that. Is Scott living at your house now? Scott, you seem like you're in your fabulous camp. No, I mean, Where are you? I leave, well, that's why I got talk. Um, so I, I start my contract on the 18th, a week from Monday. It was either 11th or it depends on hospital orientation. So I came back to Florida to get things. I'm going to bring this camper back. I have a, a site near the hospital. And we don't want to say where because... I, I worry them. they'll call my employment, which they did. They say, I don't take care of it, but trust me, they call your job. Like these haters call your job, call HR, like, Hey, look at his social media. Hey, look at this. They slander me. So now I have to be transparent. But anyway, I'm going to bring the camper. I'm bringing Allie. Uh, I'll leave the, the, the camper close to the hospital and I'm doing three nights on four days off and the other four days I'll be staying there at Amanda's house. Wow. Um, okay. You and I talked offline, Scott. You are not going to do OnlyFans. You teased your audience. You're gay. We were getting I, ready. I know. I, I was talking to Amanda, and like, um, I feel like she. I seek her counsel now on on a lot of things because uh, sometimes I do knee jerk responses, and and I worry about moving forward doing other television shows if that would hurt me if I do that. So, okay, so OnlyFans is off the table. Amanda, yeah, do I, you think that's uh, a good idea? I have somebody that's kind of working on something for me. I wouldn't say he's my publicist, but close. And he's probably advised me to hold off on that if I can. And um, yeah, it's so hard to, and, it's, it's hard to know. I mean, Drea De Matteo from Sopranos famously says that well, she brought herself, her family yeah. out of. Uh... I was never going to do OnlyFans and just do like pornography. I thought you know, there's different levels of yeah, it. Like, I, there you are. Know, yeah, I wasn't gonna do anything like uh, to 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 uh, embarrass my family or or uh, embarrass you know myself. I, I, although times I've embarrassed myself, but I'm trying to get redemption and I'm trying to be the best person I can. But unfortunately, I continue to be vil villainized all the time, and I just get sick and tired of people. Um, they don't know me, and they draw these conclusions of they already made up their mind who I am. So I don't think there's anything I could go back. So I want to follow up that, but Amanda, do you think it's a good idea? He's not on only fans or were you looking forward to uh, directing here? <laughs> um, I personally would never have an only fans. Um, and I, but I don't look down or look different at anyone that does. Um, it, one funny thing though, is that they, the people, always had compared Scott to Rosvin, right? Oh, Amanda, you, Rosvin's such a nice guy. He's this, he's that. And I'm not downplaying that, but they would compare him and put Rosvin on this pedestal. And then when Scott came out and said, I'm doing OnlyFans, everyone's like, he's going to be in your basement. He's this, Rosvin did, is doing actively OnlyFans. You know, it's like Rosvin is doing all these things, and but that's okay. And then when Scott said, does, well, put out, he was going to do it or thinking about doing it, they're like, Amanda, you're having him around your kids and he's doing OnlyFans and he's doing this. But, you know, in contrast, Rosman is is actually doing that, you know, but they don't seem to have a problem with that. Immediately looks up Rosman on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> you, okay. uh, yeah, but and the other thing is, as a respiratory therapist, yeah. that's kind of a pawn with my, with the. Uh, contracts and stuff like that you yeah know? yeah you can't do you can't do both and you're you i mean to be a nurse is is a lot of work i mean you make way more money consistently with that plus benefits and all these other things you don't yeah. need only fans you don't need only yeah. fans Let's thank a sponsor that you all are loving, OneSkin. I mean, you love all my sponsors, but some you can't stop buying, and that's OneSkin. OneSkin, right now, you get 15% off when you go to their website, oneskin.co, and you use the promo code TSFSBABY. 
Now, One Skin, what is so popular about them? It's the OSO1 peptide. It reverses skin's biological age by reducing the number of cells, those bad cells, those zombie cells that they call them, by up to 50%. They're the ones that set in the deep wrinkles that we have around our eyes and those smile lines. In a third-party 12-week clinical study performed by third-party research organization that OSO1 face has clinically proven to strengthen the skin barrier, improve skin skin health markers, and diminish visible signs of aging for up to 80% of users. Don't believe me? I always tell you guys I'm like a broken record. Go and read the amazing five-star reviews One Skin's skincare routine gets. I'm using it. I love, love, love it. Fragrance-free, easy to go on. Beautiful, simple packaging. One Skin is the world's first skin longevity company. By focusing on the cellular aspects of aging, One Skin keeps your skin looking and acting younger for longer. Get started today with 15% off using the code TSFS at oneskin.co. That's 15% off oneskin.co with the code TSFS. As you purchase, they'll ask where you heard about them. Please tell them the Sarah Fraser Show sent you. New Year Healthier Skin. That's One Skin. Help your skin stay young younger and healthier for longer with one skin. Okay. Amanda, are you worried that Scott has a credibility issue with the Tiffany Frank whole thing and April at the hotel? I mean, what, I mean, Scott, a little bit. All right. Uh, you want honesty? I'll be honest. I'm not a yeah. bullshitter. Yeah. We don't, uh, we don't Tiffany want Frank, it was, uh, definitely at that time when I was trying to build my social media, when I didn't have a lot of followers, um, I had an agenda there. Absolutely. Um, the April Carter thing, we were very transparent about that. It was a stunt. We, we posted videos like the whole thing right off the bat. Um, uh, Amanda is just, we both were, we related to each other going through a lot. And I feel like the stars aligned for me to get this contract and, you know, actions speak louder than words. People are going to see that we're hanging out, we're doing our thing and, um, time will tell. Do I have a little crush on her? Yeah, a little bit, I would say. I won't, I won't lie. Yeah, I mean, how could I not? She embodies everything. But I'm not like this guy that's going to go zero to six. See, everyone sees me as this guy, you know, from television and just jump in relationships. I've had a couple legitimate. Like, I gave Lydia a shot. I had a thing with Liz for on and off that she took advantage of me for money. I was with Sandra. That was real. And that fell apart with me going to New York. And if this happens, I don't go with expectations anymore because I end up getting hurt that way. So um, do I like her? Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, I'll let Amanda dictate the pace. I consider her, like, close to my best friend now. And, um, yeah, I, I would – to say that she, she's the hottest 90-day cast member, in my opinion. There's no one. She stands alone. There's no one hotter than Amanda. And, I, look, I'm a, I'm a yeah. man with – I look, I'm a guy with a penis. Could I sit there and say, oh, no, I'm not attracted? Of course. She's fucking hot. What do you want me to say? I know you said it. I think that's great. <laughs> Amanda, what do you think? Are you, do you have any, um, I guess, concerns with Scott's past? Um, I definitely had my reservations um, just from everything that you've already mentioned. You know, of if, you know, if I was thinking about what would, a romantic relationship look like with Scott, you know? And then it's like, then I think about that kind of stuff and I'm like, okay. Um, but he has been totally transparent with me, open, honest about every single thing. Um, you know, so even, I feel like that kind of transpired a little bit when I went through his things um, and I went yeah. through his phone oh. and yeah. stuff like that um, because that was me just not being as trusting, you know? It's like, I was like, well, let me see what's, What's yeah, let's see on? these photos. Um, What's going on? Whoa, okay. Whoa, hold on. She went through my stuff, but I updated my iPad. She went through my iPad. Let's see. Hold on. I had to update it. Here we go. Okay, what's on there? <laughs> you guys, yeah. <laughs> you're selling, by the way, are you guys selling merch together? You're selling merch together, right? No, no. We did, <laughs> we did um, we not. I had, uh, my, my buddy has a gym, the Pro Gear Gym, so he did the Valentine shirts, and I asked her to be my belated Valentine. That was real. Like, and she said yes, and I was, I was like, I love that. And then the the Team Sky, Team Amanda thing, I came up with that. But um, she's starting her own thing. She's going to be doing the the Red Flag Amanda, hashtag Red Flag Amanda. But, um, you know, listen, we're both doing our own things. And um, I'm open to collaborating with her on something. But 
but with what's going on right now, it's just I think is uh, it's kind of a uh, very sincere, founded on friendship, and um, yeah, I, I'm I'm really excited, and uh, you know, every day she's becoming my best friend. How about that? And your financial advisor. I love that. Both, oh, both, both yeah, yeah, she, yeah. Amanda, yeah, get so, a cut. Get a three percent fee, well, like no, you're at a financial no. firm. It, oh, and then in my defense, in my defense, I I I was on Bumble. I just deleted it. So mm -hmm. if that tells you something, um, I think she was jealous because she went through my Bumble and she saw all these girls messaging me. That's true. Uh, did you, I mean, how many messages do I get a day on Bumble? How many? I'm not bragging. A lot. A lot. A lot. Yeah. A lot. And I, and I asked her. I asked her. I said, "Were you jealous a little bit? Were you a little bit?" No. Oh, <laughs> hey, it's Kaylee Cuoco for Priceline. Ready to go to your happy place for a happy price? Well, why didn't you say so? Just download the Priceline app right now and save up to 60% on hotels. So whether it's Cousin Kevin's Kazoo concert in Kansas City, go Kevin! Or Becky's Bachelorette Bash in Bermuda. You never have to miss a trip ever again. So download the Priceline app today. Your savings are waiting. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, Priceline. Survivor 46 is here and so is On Fire, the only official Survivor podcast. And we have a twist this season. The winner of Survivor 45, D. Valladares, will be joining us every week. We're going behind the scenes of the biggest moments, the how and the why things happen, and the strategy and analysis you can only get from someone like me, a Survivor winner. Listen to On Fire, the official Survivor podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, all right, you guys, what's next for you both? What can you, what's next? You're launching your Amanda line. Scott, you've got a new gig, but okay. Are we going to see you both on TV anytime? I, I, I like to, I would be open to it. I don't know if it's going to be with Amanda or not, but I'm, um, I, you know, we're both open. I mean, if they, if we were approached to do something together, I, I think we would, I don't know. I feel like my bridge is burned with TLC. I've done a lot of the bad things, but I've been approached about maybe doing some other things with other networks because my, my contract's up in June. You, but really, you really think it's burnt with TLC? I, I don't. I mean, I feel they like never, they, they've had people on that, that have done far yeah, worse. I, I've I don't never know. been told I was fired. I just, I just, um, I, I don't I, think you, you know, are fired. Don't they just call you? I mean, you guys know better than I do, but it seems like a lot of times, like they'll go a while, then they'll they'll call you for a show. I don't know. I mean, I've done some pretty I, I've done some pretty bad things. I've called Matt Sharp out. I've called everybody. But you know, at the end of the day, I'm just I, I just like to have fun, and I, I don't know. Sometimes I'm controversial, but I don't have anything against you know. And I talked about this with Amanda. I, I don't. In the end of the day, I'm not really mad at TLC or Sharp because it wasn't them. It was the it's the articles, it's the, all the stories. Like when they write these stories and they put my head on Big Ed's body with a blue shirt, when you look at Google my name, there's this big body and this little head. I look like uh, from Beetlejuice. Like they put my, they Photoshop my photos. They never show like real photos of me, like from my Instagram, like a nice smile. Like they don't do that. They post on like gotcha moments, like uh, distort my face, my body. They make me look like grotesque, and that irritates the hell out of me. Yeah, that's and, not Mad Sharp's fault. Yeah, no, or TLC. Saying, you I need to like, email them and say, look, sorry, I had some frustration in the past. I mean, you know, you're good television. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, I, I, if 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 um if the opportunity presented, I would entertain it. But then I've been talking to somebody that's trying to get me possibly on other networks but okay. would i collaborate with amanda on something yeah i would because she's the coolest girl in the world and, I, and you know I, I i think i like her so amanda what about you have you thought about dating pedro chantel's ex from the family chantel <laughs> i would i would that would be okay you want to get me jealous you want to get me jealous right now i'm getting jealous with the idea of that right now I mean, pedro's kind of cute he's odd no. he's not a bad looking guy <laughs> he's doing right. well in real estate i mean you know, from what he shares online. Um, but I would never uh, consider that. Not only, you know, I don't think he's my type, but also to, you know, my relationship with Scott is very important to me. And I wouldn't want to do anything to kind of, you know, 
cross him or anything like that. So. All right. Oh. Well, we, you guys live your life. We all, I mean, look, I, I, I'm sorry for all the hate that you're getting. I feel like it's terrible. That's crazy. Some of the things, Amanda, that people write. And I, I can't stand that people throw that arrest that you had when you were like 21 in your oh, over, no, I was, over and over. So this, oh my gosh, it is so funny how people try to continue to make that relevant. I was yeah. 19. I was 19 years old. I am 32, going to be 33 years old. You know, it's like I am at a completely different place in my life. I was a completely different person back then. I have never been arrested since, never been in any trouble since then. And also, too, the misconception is, I attacked a, a girl with a bat. She attacked me with a bat and I was on her property. Um, and it's like people only read the, the headline of the article, right? The little uh, clickbait. They don't read the whole thing. They don't care, you know, but yeah, that's one thing that irritates me is right. bringing up that arrest when I was 19 years old. Did you ever think about, you know, when you're on TV, I almost wonder if a strategy is just like, did you ever say to TLC when you guys were filming before the 90 days, like, hey, I want to get everything from my past out there so nobody can find it? Because uh, no, th they knew they knew um, everything is out in the open. Um, and I even knew that it could potentially get brought up. Um, maybe if I was thinking more than I would have put it out there myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, but also too, I personally didn't think anyone would think it was that big of a deal just because it was when I was 19 years old and being, I'm in my thirties now, you know? Um, but I just think it's one little thing that since I was so hated, it was one more little thing to kind of hate me for and, and put me in a bad light by the, by the fans, because it, let's be honest, if somebody was dearly beloved by fans, right? And this came out, they'd be, oh, let it go. They were 19. Yeah. They've never been in trouble, you know? But for me, I was already hated and it just kind of added a, another match to the fire, so. Amanda, yeah. what, about, what about your photos too? They they they, they augment your Oh, photos. yeah. They, so the same that Scott was saying, how they Photoshop his pictures and put them on articles. I actually got into an argument with um, a... I don't know, they're a vlogger or whatever they are, they would only Photoshop my photos. And I'm not talking tiny Photoshops. I mean, my ear, my ear would be on the side of my, my, or my eye would be on the side of my face, like, and just insane. And only me, they did everyone from our season, they would do articles about that. Only my picture, they would Photoshop. And I said something to them, and they're like, deal with it. You know, it's just crazy. That yeah, yeah, people... If, once you're on reality TV, I mean, people do feel like they're entitled to every part yeah. of your life. And, you know, I'm guilty of that, too, because I think we are two decades into reality TV. So I think there's a level of you should know what you're getting into now, you know. So I think that yeah. the fans are even more merciless. Um, but anyway, OK. No, I mean, it's chaos. Anyway. No, I was going to say to you both, is there anything else you want to clear up before we go? You guys both look great. Anything else you want to clear up? I'm excited to head back to West Virginia. And, yeah, uh, I kind of missed you a little bit or whatever. That doesn't sound, does that seem <laughs> genuine? That well, sound I can't, like, listen, I, I'm known as being a little cold hearted. I can't be like, oh my hey, gosh, Scott, I miss Sarah, you. I gotta be like, I kind of miss you or whatever. You know, <laughs> you know what's funny, Sarah, Sarah I'm going to tell you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show her vulnerability. Uh, the way she is, like this this version like she she comes across colder but when the cameras aren't on or whatever she is the sweetest person in the world she is so sweet she doesn't want to admit it and she likes to make fun of me all the time she makes fun of my height she makes fun of everything i do and i do get nervous around her like i i get they said oh don't get tongue twisted but when i met her in person i was like first of all she was ver really tall i was like wow and, that, and now i feel kind of short but but at the same time, the more I get to know her, I met um, she is such a beautiful soul. And I have a confession. She got me. I, I did. She, I cried in front of her and I didn't think Aww. I would do that because I allowed myself to show a different side that not everybody gets to see other than like the drunken lie. But yeah, she well she knows <laughs> she 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 knows how to. Uh, I don't know. She just means a lot to me. How about that? That's great. 
It's great. It's great that you two have each other and your friendship and wherever it goes. Um, look, wish you all the best. Come back on this podcast anytime with any revelations, anything you want to clear up. Scott, you know, we love you. Just take good care of yourself. It's not worth being yeah. on social media if it's not good for you. I think that's, I, I, you know, you were so kind to be on my show. I don't know you know you, but, you know, um, I think we see sometimes the pressures of, of social media. So just take good care of yourself. You're amazing. You're a gem. I don't want anything to happen to you. And I think especially with everything with sister wives. I mean, God, just that awful suicide with their son, you know, I, I just think it's, it's hard. To I know, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not on that. I, listen, I have, I would never, I don't think like those terms. I have kids, I have grandkids and uh, I'm, I'm very happy. I just, I've, I'm the first person that has, listen, I'm going to be, I'm going to be real. 90% of these people on reality TV put on a facade to be more than they are their lives are better than they are facebook or it's all filtered photos and you're living your best life and that's bullshit i'm the first guy that shows his vulnerability and goes and has hard times but the difference is we live in a society where people want to make fun of you or kick you when you're down and i surrendered to that a little bit but Same. you know what we'll come yeah. into your life reason and amanda has given me a, a different perspective on how to deal with it because i wasn't listening to people because i don't respect them they're not me they're not doing my jobs they're not working in healthcare. that you know they said i made said i've made up that i have stroke and i provide stuff and they're like oh provide mris provide this i'm like i don't owe you anything i owe you no explanation you are not my master and you don't pay my bills yeah what what you know, that's that's the hard part. They live in we live in the society where on social media they feel entitled to know everything. Why do they not have to know every detail? You know, uh, I just I, that's the thing that bothers me. But she's helping me, and I just feel like for me, there's a lot of people that love me. Yes, and that's what if I got off social media, I need the people that love me. That that we don't talk about that. We talk about the hate, but I need to talk about the people that are important to me. My family. Amanda, the people that love me on social media, they give me that reinforcement that I am a good person and yeah. it allows me to smile moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. Amanda, you too, take good care because it's just, it's a lot for you guys. So I don't, you know, even, I mean, I get it on a much more minimal scale, but I mean, involving your kids and it's just, it can be a lot, you know? So just- yeah, you guys, um, it's good that you have each other and that you're obviously very aware of, you know, your mental health and the hate. And it sounds like you both have a good perspective on it. But I think people are just, you know, thinking in, in that terms now because it just, with everything with Sister Wives, yeah. in terms of, you know. I, I, believe that okay. I believe in God and I believe everybody comes in your life for a reason. And I believe that there's a reason why we were brought together. And it, for whatever that is, it will reveal itself in time. But as for now, um, I'm happy that she's in my life. She's becoming my best friend. And um, she make, gives me new reasons to smile every day. Well, I love it. And, you know, I mean, the, the truth of the matter is, I think all of us as TLC fans are kind of looking for that relationship crossover that, you know, like we kind of all want people from different TLC universes to like meet and fall in love. And like, you know, it's kind of like The Bachelor, right? You None of them ever work, but you know, you want like you want that one yeah. or two couple to like cross over and work. So all right. Uh love to you both. Is there anything that any that thing that people can buy, promote, you guys want them to follow that we should know about? We're just living for me, we're just living our um, I'm living my life with no agenda. And um I love the content I put out. Sometimes it's a little, you know, um edgy, but I, I love my fans and he, I even love my haters. You know, Amanda's making me love my haters and that, that's something I need to appreciate them because what do they say? You're not truly popular until you're hated. How about that? I'm getting ready to post a video on my social media. I love from this TikTok guy who says, if you don't have hate, you need to dial up the haters. You need to dial it up <laughs> because you don't have a brand anymore unless you have people that hate you. And he says, if you don't have negative comments, dial up the hate. So Scott, see, you're already there, baby. Love I that. But, well, Amanda, and the, you're already there, girl. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to, and even if I don't do another show or if I did another network and Amanda did something with TLC, whether they called her for the single life or whatever, I would love for her for them to see that she is the most 
she has she's she's intellectual she's she's charming she's sweet she's a great mom i would love to see all the layers of amanda be revealed on, on well, tv so also too i feel like when i was filming my season of 90 days i was obviously just going through such a traumatic life event you know and um i feel like a lot of people that wasn't me per se you know what i mean it's like i was just going through so much. I feel like it showed on camera, you know, I was always a bitch. I was always just kind of, you know, and I, there were times when I smile, but of course that didn't get aired. Um, but it's, you know, now I've been through grief therapy. Um, I've done that healing journey. It's been almost two years since my late husband has passed away, or actually it's been two years. Um, and I just feel like I'm back to me, you know, I'm back to, to just being my happy self and being healed. And, you know, I feel like a lot of people judge me off of that, my season, which, it, you know, is fine. But if you follow me on social media or you join my lives on TikTok or whatever it is, you will actually get the sense of, you know, who I am more as a person rather than just from my season. So, yeah. Thank you for saying that, by the way. And that was very vulnerable of you to go on that film, that show just shortly after your husband had passed. And, you know, it's important that you did that because that shows other people who have lost a spouse, you know, that you can yeah. move forward in the grieving process. And it shows people, right, how difficult dating is after you lose a significant yeah. other. You know, it's very, very complicated, and especially with young children. So, you know, people should be giving you a lot more credit. Who's going to do it perfectly? I mean, you are a grieving widow, yeah. you know? And I will say also, too, like, if I wouldn't have done this show, um, because I, when I got back from Romania and Russell and I broke up that I immediately like, I was like, okay, I'm not okay. I need to get help and to heal. And if I wouldn't have gone to Romania to meet Rosvan or film the show, I don't know if I would have said at that point, yeah. I'm, I need help, you know, because yeah. maybe I would just would have kept it all inside and just, you know what I mean? Which is not healthy. So I think definitely, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I think I went there for a purpose and now I'm healed, you know, and I, yeah. I feel like it's due to that, to being there and, and realizing like, okay, I'm not okay. Yeah. Um, you guys, thank you so much for coming on the show. I, I just, I really appreciate Absolutely. it. Hopefully people see you in a different light. You guys are both very entertaining to watch. Living your, get that merch out there. Dial up the haters, baby. Scott, congrats on the new gig. We're excited for you guys. Amanda, you look great. It is so good to see you thriving. I feel like you are coming into your own. <laughs> just so much personality. Keep Scott in line. And Scott, we're kicking your ass to the curb, honey. You don't behave. This is it. First of all, I'll kick him to the curb. But that, he doesn't this behave, is it, okay? Scott. You better be on warning. <laughs> she, you know, I consider we're both alphas, but um, when I'm hanging out with her, I, I, I got to say that sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm bowing and I shouldn't, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, you should. Take good advice from her. All right, you two. We'll talk soon. All right, Thank take care. You. Bye. Bye. Bye.